Hello and welcome to the More Yachts YouTube channel. Today we're in Sunny Pool looking at this lovely 2008 cranky Mediterranean 43 that's new to the market. We're going to do one of our short walkthrough videos showing you all the features and benefits on this boat and she is new to the market, available immediately and priced for sale at $129,950 tax paid. As usual, please don't hesitate to contact myself, Christian Moore, on 07855 441150. That's 07855 441150. Or look at our website at www.moreyachts.com. That's www.moreyachts.com. And as always, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share with all your friends. So, welcome to Andy Ammo, this cranky Mediterranean 43 that we've just taken on for sale. As mentioned, we're going to do a quick walkthrough video to show you some of the features and benefits. And to start off, we're just going to have a quick walk around the outside, just so you can see the boat in all her splendour. She's got this striking dark blue hull, fantastic lines, typical Italian styling, and is a really big, voluminous boat for her size. You can see on the foredeck here, you've got an electric anchor windlass. You've got room for sunbathing cushions. Although we have the cushions on the front, the actual uh, sunbathers themselves aren't with the boat, so that's something you'd need to look at having done on here. As we come back, we have a beautiful stainless steel windscreen with windscreen wiper, plenty of storage for fenders, nice high-sided stainless steel grab rails, so it's nice and safe to walk around the boat, and these lovely tinted windows, which again, just sent the uh, lovely Italian styling on the boat. As we come through, navigation lights, you can see there's a full array of electronics on the boat from searchlights, raymarine radar, chart plotter, GPS, VH, VHF, and a full camper cover set. Just take a quick walk round. We'll do some video shortly of the boat just off the mooring so you can see it all the way around. Just come back around. So, as we walk up to the stern of the boat, you can see we have a lovely, great big bathing platform, ideal for a tender, uh, and you've got the hydraulic passerelle crane on here, which is a Besanzoni, stainless steel, Again, really good quality, really well made. Flagstaff, nice entrance either side of the aft cockpit going into the aft cockpit area. Teak bathing platform, decent swim ladder to get on and off the back of the boat. And as we step aboard, you can see plenty of deck hardware, easy to moor up. Transom shower as we walk on board. Steps up here if you're going up to use the passerelle stroke crane. So this on here is a passerelle and it is also a fully operational crane to lift any tender or any toys that you might have on the back of the boat. As we walk into the boat, we have a Glendening cable master here. Again, you don't normally see them on this size of boat, so it's just got the electric operation to get the shore power in and out, which is a lovely feature. Nice wide side decks. A 
cockpit door coming into the cockpit as we walk in nice seating area twin tables this one here drops down and then this one here is also electrically operated so it moves up and down as you can see and then we have an electric operation for the engine hatch which I'll show you at the end of the video we um, as we come around here and we just look at these controls you can see you've got the Besons only control here just to show you for the passerelle so if I move it out you can see it going out up down so that's all working fine there's also a bracket on the steps here at the back for an outboard motor for your tender so you can secure it on the back without having it loose on the boat whilst you're walking around the boat so again as we come round nice big seating area very comfortable fantastic helm position up forward with a, a nice sunbather to the side so if you're up at the helm driving along you can have uh, your family sunbathing with you you can have a couple of people either side very sociable place to be using the boat got a lovely cockpit wet bar here so in this we have uh, there's just storage on this side here I'll just show you we have a fridge then we have an ice maker in here barbecue griddle and your sink here so again, fully comprehensive setup, easy to use and be enjoyed when you're out on the water. Cockpit speaker system, high level lights. There are some low level lights in the cockpit as well. Access hatch down into the aft cabin, which on this boat is classed as the master, so it's midships, very comfortable on board. Plenty of storage, boat hook, nice walkway through entrance to the saloon area and down below just come up to the helm show you a couple of features on here while we're here so we've got a electrically controlled helmsman seat forward back up and down also they've got the flip up bolsters on here so you can either sit at the helm uh, or you can stand up have it down for the sitting position up for the standing position if you want to lean to as we come round you've got VHF speaker VHF radio Ray Marine controls for the Volvo uh, engines on here this boat has got the Volvo IPS engines uh, full specification can be found on our sales details so again if you go to our website at www.moreyachts you can download the spec which gives you all information on the equipment on board the boat we also have above the uh, controls here these are electronic engine controls we've got the horn button we've got the searchlight control trim tabs for trimming the boat with the gauges on there as we come up got a full Raymarine E120 chart plotter GPS radar uh, we've got this on the chart plotter and radar screen at the moment remote control for the Clarion stereo system we've got the joystick for the IPS controls here all the switch gear uh, the switch gear is just in the process of being replaced at the moment they're going to have new toggles on there and then we've got a 12 volt receptacle down here We've got the Raymarine Tri-Data, which is uh, log, speed, depth, temperature, I believe. Uh, we've got the autopilot control system. These are all linked into the chart plotter GPS system. So again, very comprehensive spec on here. Full engine instrumentation and controls. As you can see on here, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but the boat's got really low hours. Again, if you just check on our spec, I think it's 361 and 365 but nothing for the age of the boat. Compass, and if I just quickly make sure she's in neutral, take command, I'll just fire up for you. So you can see she just starts on the button. Also at the end of this video, I have some footage of her when she was launched last week after having her anti-foul and hole polish and clean. 
uh, anodes done, out drives checked, all the IPS pod drives checked, um, and we're just waiting for the engines to be serviced now by uh, the Volvo engineer. So again, starts on the button, no problem at all. Just turn this off. Great hand position. Just pull up here. You can see the visibility is fantastic. Really easy for using the boat. Just as I come round, you can just see Again, really, really visible from here. You can look all around the boat, really easy to step to the side, to look over the side. Maneuvering is just just a piece of cake on this boat, excuse the pun, but it's it's with the IPS control, the, the um, joystick here, you can twist and move the boat and they really do work really well. So you don't have to worry about your abilities in driving this boat. It is very, very easy. So if I just slip my shoes off as I go down below can see we've got a really good walkway down into the saloon area being an Italian boat you wouldn't expect there to be much room but the headroom on this boat is absolutely amazing as we come down to the saloon area just show you quickly on here we've got all the systems panels here we've got the generator just quickly run that up for you so that's up and running again you can see it's got really low hours I think it's got 200 and, I don't know if you can see it on here 245 hours let's just turn that off All your breakers turn everything on and off, engine batteries, domestic batteries, shore power system. We are actually on the shore power at the moment. We've got the air conditioning running, so it's really nice and cool in here. This boat has reverse cycle air conditioning and heating, so you've got the best of both worlds all year round. And actually, believe it or not, in England today, I'm very grateful with the, uh, the air conditioning we've got on here. So as we have a look round, fully comprehensive galley, hob, Running water, I'll just turn the pump on so it needs to prime up. Plenty of storage, plenty of storage below. There's a bin in here, lots of space for pots, pans, etc. etc. Lovely, great big fridge. This is a fantastic feature on here. As you can see, we've got the nice blue LED lighting down in the steps, but nice freezer compartment big fridge one problem you have in a lot of boats you just don't have enough storage for food and stuff so this is really well thought out microwave again having the generator you can use all these systems while you're at sea if I just pan around on here so we've got a lovely lovely saloon area here this table drops down and there's an infill cushion so you can use it as an occasional berth uh, the cushion off the back there on the back here just comes out goes on top and that gives you a double berth you've got all your cupboards systems stereos whatever over on the other side and then down in the floor here you've just got access to the bilges we don't always show these on the videos but actually it's really clean and tidy on here and that's got access to your pumps for your loo systems and water pumps and also it's great storage on there Stereo system with speakers, plenty of light in here. So we've got the normal lights, we've got the LED mood lighting, nice hatch up in here to let plenty of natural sunlight through. Just pan round so you can have a look. Down into the galley area again so you can see that nicely. Really, really well laid out. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually six foot eight or six foot seven, I think I've shrunk a bit but I have full standing headroom in this boat. I mean, it's quite unbelievable. You just don't get many of the manufacturers that do that. So as we come down below, we're going into the master cabin. On this boat, you could actually class 
either cabin as the master, but because this is midships and it's more gentle and it's a bit bigger, we're classing this as the master cabin on here today. So as I come down, just sit on the bed here. You've got a nice sofa area, dressing table area, plenty of natural light again. Come around here, we've got access into the ensuite for the master. Now this is shared as a day head, so the only reason you might change the other berth at the bow to be the master is for that reason. But from a comfort point of view and staying on the boat, you will find that the midships cabin is always slightly more comfortable. Again, plenty of storage and lockers. Quick look, plenty of natural light air conditioning controls. Let's come back and sit on the sofa here. Just let you have a look. So again, nice big double berth, plenty of room, very comfortable. Side tables either side, reading lights, porthole at the top there. As we look up here, we have the roof light going up into the cockpit again, lets plenty of natural light in. Nice feature down lights on here. Coming back through. This is just an access to um, all the back of the systems panel. So if you need to do anything, it's really easy to get at everything. Switch controls for the lighting. Coming back up into the saloon area. Oh, sorry about that. Pulled on the microphone. So, guest cabin or, or guest VIP or other master, depending on how you want to look at it. Again, plenty of room. I'm standing in here. I've got the uh, bedside lights up at the moment on there. Plenty of storage. Wardrobe. Air conditioning control. Access to the ensuite. Again, really good size, round shower cubicle, vacuum flush toilet systems, really well set up and laid out. So we come back round. It's got the lovely oak wood finish on here as well. It's very contemporary. This is probably a little bit before its time compared to a lot of boats. Decent storage wardrobe. Again, nice light fittings, deck hatch. Plenty of natural light. So we come back round, just catch up with ourselves, back into the saloon area. That oh, air conditioning is lovely, it's so hot today. So as we have a look down here, just got the stereo system here, Clarion stereo. You see on here we have a remote control for the stereo. This is a remote control for the passerelle crane. So if you're on board in the med uh, and you've gone out, you can use the remote control to get on and off the boat and close it off so people can't get on. And then you've got a remote control here for the anchor windlass. Any storage cupboards. You've got the six disc auto changer in there for the stereo, if you're still using CDs. Next cupboard along here. We've got all the ship's papers and books and everything else in there. So again, this boat has got everything that you possibly want on it. And with the way the market is at the moment, value for money at 129,950, this is just exceptional and a really good find. So much room on board. So as we come up, back into the cockpit area. Obviously we've seen this, but I just wanted to leave the engine room till last. So we come back through. I'm just going to come and lift the engine hatch up now. It just takes a second to come up. The engineering on this boat is absolutely superb. Everything is so well laid out. Seems to be really well built.
I had the pleasure of going on a sea trial in the boat earlier on in the year. So again, you just see, <coughs> excuse me, engine room. A quick look round. Got the generator in there. All the tools and spares. Pumps, hydraulics, air conditioning units, storage units. And these twin Volvo Penta IPS 600 diesel engines. So that's about it for today. We're just going to quickly move on to the other video in a minute, showing you the boat when it's being relaunched. And the owner's just going to take it out so we can do a couple of uh, shots of the boat alongside. And uh, as I say, if this boat's of interest, please contact myself, Christian Moore, on 07855 441150. Download the full spec at our website www.moreyachts.com and as always please like, share, subscribe and continue watching our videos. Thank you for your time.